Hey Tramp! Welcome! Today is Monday, 20th of January. Welcome! It is a very stormy morning. Thundering, light, and rain. It's good to see some rain. We had 8 millimeters last night. So I don't know what's on the gauge now, but I'll check it out later. <laughs> so, um, I've got some really good welcome rain. And a bit of thunder, lightning. Yeah. You can hear it? <laughs> oh. I've got to go to work. So, oh. <laughs> That's big lightning. Hear that? I just love looking, I just love sitting, standing out or sitting, looking at the lightning and the thunder. Yeah, I just love, I yeah, love big lightning streaks. I don't know how I'm going to get to work. <laughs> I've got to get to the car yet. I've got to go in a few minutes. So I've got to go and pick up some people. In the storm. Now on this vlog, I've got to pick a town. So uh, stay tuned for that. Pick a town, we go to Cobram. Yeah. Yeah, so we go to Cobram, we go to Cactus, Cactus Country, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Today is Saturday, 18th of January. And now, it's an overcast day and, and looks like it's a storm coming. Hopefully we'll get some rain. Hmm, fingers crossed. Because <laughs> we haven't had any rain for quite a long time. So, it is very humid. And, uh, but the, and the bushfires are still going up at Mount Buffalo, around about back of Mount Buffalo somewhere, and around Dan Doggerdale, Abbey Yard, yeah. So, look, it's not going, it's not threatening the Buffalo Chalet, which is, um, which is a historic building. It's an icon, Australia's icon, the Mount Buffalo Chalet. So that's still standing, thank God for that. So anyway, and there are some people under threat, moment so like farming communities in those areas they have to evacuate uh, or be vigilant anyway so I hope they're safe anyway I'm going to go out tonight to, to the pub to the Pinsent Hotel in Wangaratta uh, with my brother Peter to commemorate my dad's 87th birthday he would be 87 today unfortunately um, dad passed away last year in on July 4th so um, the Pinson Hotel was a place, a pub where he used to go a lot, and always used to like go there a lot. So, and I remember we went there for his birthday one time. So anyway, I'm going to go there and commemorate and uh, drink to the dead, Harry, my dad. Happy birthday, Dad. Hey, Trev. Welcome. Today is Sunday, 19th of January. Welcome to my new vlog. Now, yesterday was my dad's birthday, of course. He was 80. He would have been 87 yesterday. So, it was the commemoration um, last night that I took my brother Peter to the Pinsent Hotel. That's the commemoration dinner, just for us, just us two. And, uh, just to commemorate our dad's birthday, because dad loved going to the Pinsent Hotel. That was his waterhole. <laughs> and uh, so we went there for memory's sake. And uh, anyway, and uh, oh yes, I had my sticky date pudding. That was dad's favourite. He always loved this sticky, sticky date pudding. So I ordered that for sweets. <laughs> so that was good. So it was a good night, it was a reasonable night, we just had our dinner, then I took Peter back home and then I went back home and relaxed. It was just a commemoration, yes. So, 
Now, we had a little bit of rain last night, but not a great lot. Not enough to um, fill the rain gauge, or put anything in the rain gauge. So we had a trickle of rain. It was nice. Um, a little bit, some places probably got more rain than we had back home here. So, I mean, the other side of town looked like they had more rain than here. So, anyway, it is smoky again. Um, and a bit breezy, nice bit of a wind coming up, and warm too, so it's heating up again a bit. Mm. But anyway, today I'm off, the, I'm going on the road, back on the road again, yes. as Willie Nelson says, on the road again. <laughs> so, we're going to be on the road to pick a town, yeah, let's go and pick a town, so let's go, okay, see you down the road. fell over. Oh, let's go. We can pick a town. <laughs> pick a town, pick a town, pick a town. It's my town. Oh, it's your town. It's everybody's town. Ride up your bike in the town. Drive and drive around in the town. Walk in the town. My town, your town, everybody's town. Pick a town. Pick a town. Pick a town. Welcome to Cobram. It's our pick a town. Yeah. So, let's see what it's all about. Let's visit Cobram. Hello, Cobram. <laughs> okay. Now, our first port of call here in Cobram is a fair way out of town and it's a place called Cactus Country. Cactus Country. Here we go. Welcome, amigos, to Cactus Country. So, let's go see what's all about. Let's visit Cactus Country. Not very far out of Strathmore, so it's a bit somewhat between Cobram and Strathmore. And, uh, well, it's not far into Strathmore, actually, so... Yeah, we're going to have a look at it. Okay. Welcome to Cactus Country. Cactus Country, that's what it's called. <laughs> uh, hello, Mexico. Go, <laughs> let's go. Way out in the desert of Mexico, we have cactus. Oh, Sunbaking out in the sun, it's really hot. <laughs> but it's good. Everything's so quiet. Where are the coyotes? I want to see a coyote. Might be in the bush. Well, that's it. Finished. Cactus Country. Come to Cactus Country. I just had my lunch. Had a cactus ice cream. It was really good. And I really enjoyed it. <sighs> so, anyway. 
hope you enjoy it. So, now we're off to Cobram. Can I have a look at Cobram? Can I have a look at the town? Yeah, look at that. We just had a big clap, clap of thunder before. <laughs> it really, that looks like a lot of rain. We're getting a little bit of rain here, just a sprinkle, that's all. So, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, Cactus Country, so we're going to go into Cobram as part of our uh, pick a town. In Cobram, let's go to Cobram. rain. Bit of a flash flood. <laughs> so like I said we can go in the log cabin token so we'll see what's in there. <laughs> oh dear. Had a big flash of rain. Let's see what's in this log cabin. The Tom's family. There you go, an old uh, letter, been used many, many years ago, probably one of the early settlers of Cobram. We go in here, it looks like a bedroom, a bed, yeah. What we've come out here faced with a whole heap of water on the ground. <laughs> so, this, it sort of came just before we came because when I was at the cactus country, that's when we had a thunderstorm there, and then they, these people copped it here at Cobram. So, um, a lot of thunderstorms were out, lightning, and they had a big flash flood. Railway station. I'm here in the main street of Cobham. looking at Cobram town this is the main center of it, the whole thing Cobram is noted for peaches peaches and cream they have a peaches and cream once a year probably about this time of the year now so it's good so lots of uh, fruit produce uh, peaches oranges and uh, yeah and it's right on the Murray River it's where a lot of people go swimming down to the beach 
and uh, a lot of boating, fishing. So there's a lot to store in Cobram. It's a nice little town, a neat little town. And uh, yeah. And as you can see, a little bit of a flash flood over there. Shopping centre, it's Woolworths over there. Big shopping centre, groceries. So we're just going down the main street of Cobram here. And uh, yeah. Very quiet day today because it's Sunday. So usually Sundays are pretty quiet. Of course, this must be the uh, main centre of uh, Cobram, Grand Central Hotel, over there. Yeah. A bit of a walk. Yeah, we're just walking down past the shops. I hope you enjoying this walk around in the town of Cobram. It's pretty bigger than I thought actually, really. A lot of good shops. Lots of op shops. Yeah. They sell, they sell a lot of uh, cheap things. The op shop. A lot of uh, wares being used. You know, that's another part of the town. Very quiet. Go to the shop. Yeah. <laughs> so, this rich street that goes to Baruga. Baruga town is just over the other side of the Murray River, which is on the New South Wales side. So, we're actually on the border of uh, New South Wales and Victoria. So, uh, yeah. There's a Another main street. We're sort of heading back to where we were before. So we might just start heading back to my car. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fried chicken. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Fried chicken? No. Doesn't look like it. Could have been in its heydays. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, I'm just about to head to the car now, and uh, I hope you enjoyed Cobram. I hope you enjoyed this pick of town, Cobram. So uh, now I'm going to start to head home. So next time. I shall see you at the next pick of town. Maybe your town. Maybe it's somebody else's town. <laughs> pick a town. Now, it's evening. You're on the Sunday night. And uh, since I came back home to Wangaratta, we haven't had a drop of rain. Maybe had a little shower, but that's it. That's nothing in the rain gauge. Everybody else got rained. <laughs> rained in Cobram. And apparently bucketed it down in Murderford, so I heard. Yes, so, um, but it hasn't reached us here yet. So it's, the clouds are, the sky, it looks threatening. So we might get it. We might get a storm. Apparently there's, down in Melbourne, copped uh, a hailstorm. <laughs> pretty bad down there. So uh, they copped pretty well. So uh, everybody else is getting all the rain, except us. So um, it, we might get it, we don't know. So. <laughs> Yeah.
<laughs> if we get rain, if we get a lot of rain, I'm going to dance out there. <laughs> so you won't see me dancing in the rain. If we do get rain, <laughs> we'll see about that. If it rains. Come on, God. Rain. <laughs> Rain. Rain. Hey, you know what? I can hear raindrops. I can hear raindrops. I can hear them. I can hear them falling under my bins. We've had a bit, a bit of rain today, <laughs> just looking at the rain gauge. We had about eight millimetres last night, eight. <laughs> so it was a good drop. Then we had a thunderstorm early this morning. So uh, just looking at the rain gauge, we had about 10. Yeah, it looks like almost nearly 10, 10 millimetres of rain since midnight. So that's, that's 18 millimetres we've had since it started. And it's just showery at the moment. And uh, of course now this morning, yes, we had a big thunderstorm, big crack. So then we had, a, there was a big lot of rain, of course. And then we had another dose of it later in the morning. And then this afternoon, um, we had some more. So it's sort of been in patches, you know. The rain comes and it rain goes. So we're getting a lot of good rainfalls. <laughs> so, and it's nice. It's not so hot. It's nice and cool. It's just bright. It's not so cold and not so hot. It's even temperature. <laughs> Feels like spring, really. <laughs> we're going to get the hood through autumn yet. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, it's late in the afternoon and... Uh, Done my community driving this morning, today. Tomorrow's going to be a busy one because I've got to go to Shepparton tomorrow. Yeah. Time for a drink and a chat with Trev. No, I haven't got a cup of tea this time. I'm going to try out this milk flavour. If I can get it open. Oh. Well, they make these stupid things. You know, you try and push the spout out, but it sticks in there. I got it. <laughs> yes. Sorry about that, Chief. <laughs> oh dear. What's the flavour? I've never tried this flavour before. It's called Ram Bam. Remember that? Some time back I did a couple of flavours of the Ram Bam uh, milk. This one is called Turkish Delight. So, let's go Turkish. Yeah. So, have a taste test. Hmm. That tastes nice. 
and Choco Biscuit Bars. I got these from Aldi. I love Aldi. Yeah. Biscuit Bars. Cappuccino. They're a cappuccino flavour. That sounds nice. I love cappuccino. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. having a great day. Maybe I had a great weekend too. Mine was good. And of course Saturday night was my dad's birthday on Saturday but he's no longer here because he's, he passed away last year in July 4th and um, then yesterday or Sunday was a great day. I really enjoyed it. I went to, um, to the Cactus Country at Strathmerton. That's where it is. Hmm. That's about somewhat 15 kilometres from Cobram. So if you're travelling from Yarrawonga to Cobram, well, you'll, you'll go through Cobram, or you bypass Cobram sort of thing. And it's about 15, 15 minute drive from there into Strathmerton. If you're coming in from Echuca um, direction, um, yeah, you'll have to go through Strathmerton. It's just out a little bit on your left. Yeah. So it's a great place. I, I've never been there before. It's the first time, mm. and I've heard. I've been hearing things, stories about it, and I've heard about other people, friends, who've been there. So I thought, oh, I'll go and check it out. <laughs> so uh, that was good. Then I went to Cobram, of course, the picker town, and uh, mm. I'll do another picker town soon. Mm. And of course, this year, get back into reality. I can do Trevor's Memory Lane, uh, that'll be coming up in the next couple of weeks. I'll put that up and uh, mm, and some new things may be happening. Oh yes, I know. I know you want Milkshake Trev to come back. <laughs> he might come back. He might make a Milkshake one or two. <laughs> I know you're begging for it. This is really nice. Mm. And, um, gosh, what a season we've had with all those bushfires. It was really bad. Very lucky that we weren't affected here, but only the smoke, that's all we've been getting. But um, I'm really sorry for people who affected, lost their homes, uh, especially over in the east coast, the east coast around Batemans Bay, uh, right from Sydney right through to Ulladulla, right through to Mallacoota, um, they really copped a lot and uh, it's a long way from where I live so um, it's a beautiful area, it's the Sapphire Coast they usually call it down, down around uh, Maringula area, very pretty area and uh, they're trying to get the tourists back into that area, in those areas. Um, so, you know, we're trying to support those uh, those towns and those places that have been affected. They're trying to get their business back, so which is good. And uh, I like to um, get some of those, get into some of those towns where um, they've been affected, like Corrion. I mean, I've done Bright. I've done Pick a Town at Bright. Um, Corrion might be one in line. Um, you know, some of the places that have been affected, yeah. So we'll give it a go sometime, and uh, of course this weekend is Australia Day weekend this weekend, so there's so much happening this weekend. <laughs> mm. So now, um, Thursday's vlog, I'll be putting up a bit more of the Cactus Country. It's going to be the full version, so I didn't put everything on the Cactus Country um, pick a town, so um, I'll be doing more, of, I've done more footage, which I'll be putting it up on Thursday's vlog, so you'll enjoy that. Anyway, until then, I'll finish this vlog, create harmony, peace, bye. You never know what I get up to ne next, <laughs> and enjoy your week.
Enjoy your week. Mm. Bye.